Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller has vetoed the moratorium on sanctioned homeless camps. Now the city council is looking to overturn that veto. News 13's George Gonzalez is alive at Bethlehem Baptist Church near Blue Water. They are hopeful that veto will stay. George. Yeah, Kim, this location for the safe outdoor space already got denied once, but with the mayor vetoing the moratorium as of last Friday, the church's pastor here says he is hopeful that video will stick and his applications will succeed. It is going to help what I call the working homeless, and people don't seem to realize they are working homeless. Uh, and I tried to explain this to some of the people in the neighborhood that we're not just going to have people come in and, and set up the tents and camps and just live and do nothing. No, 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 that's, that, that's, not, that's not what we're trying to do. City Council passed the year-long delay on any sanctioned encampments on August 15th by a 6-3 to three vote. Unfortunately for Pastor Dennis Hubbard, his two applications for the city sanctioned encampments, one here on Blue Water and the second on Wheeler near Broadway, didn't make the cut. Now after Mayor Keller's veto, Pastor Hubbard is hopeful, but those against it say this is not the solution to homelessness. Why do they want to have homeless encampments anyway? Uh, I just don't agree. We have the city services and the funding to be able to uh, meet the needs of people that are uh, unsheltered in our city right now, and this administration needs to utilize the resources that we have. And Last week, actually, four groups applied for encampments. Councilor Lewis says it is evident the council doesn't support the city sanctioned encampments. Now, he believes there are enough votes to override the mayor's veto. The council would need six votes to overturn it. Back to you. Okay, thanks, George. Now, Democrat Clarissa Pena was one of the key votes in favor of the moratorium. We called her to see if she was going to vote to overturn the veto. She has not gotten back to us. Council is expected to vote on the mayor's veto on September 7th.